Today, the man accused of shooting and killing a Harris County Precinct 4 deputy constable and injuring two other deputies will be in court. Eddie Miller is accused of opening fire on the deputies back in October and is now behind bars. Our Brittany Jeffers joining us live with the latest details in his arrest. Brittany. Yes, a lot to discuss here, and we're focusing here on this timeline. As you mentioned, the shootings happened back in October, but it was on Sunday that that suspect was taken into custody and arrested, and in just a few hours at 9 a.m., he will appear before a judge. I am just amazed at the work they have done. A sense of relief and gratitude by many that this suspect, 19-year-old Eddie Alberto Miller, is now behind bars. That's a message to everybody that's out there. Hands off of our deputies, our officers and hands off our citizens. Officials say Miller was taken into custody Sunday afternoon in Fort Bend County. Police released this photo of his arrest. When you see the handcuffs, that's Deputy Atkins handcuffs. According to court documents, Miller used an AR-15 rifle to open fire on the three deputy constables as they were trying to detain one of his associates outside of a bar on the North Freeway near Cross Timbers in October. At 9 a.m., Miller will go before a judge, now charged with capital murder for the death of Deputy Atkins, the attempted capital murder of Deputy Daryl Garrett, and aggravated assault on peace officer for Deputy Joaquin Barthen. We're just so grateful for everybody up here for all the hard work that was put in and that justice has begun. Now, Deputy Barthen was released from the hospital a few days after that shooting. In the meantime, Deputy Daryl Garrett remains in the ICU. As for Miller, he's currently being held without bond on that capital murder charge. And uh, bond totals $1 million for those two additional charges. Again, he's scheduled to be in court at 9 a.m. Reporting live in downtown Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Brittany, thank you.